Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. I've got another way to update these GEE Tech printers, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so this is the Marlin GitHub. There will be a link for this in the description. When you get here, it's initially in 2.0x. We want to switch to bug fix, so I'm going to click bug fix 2. Once we do that, we can get the code just like we always have and download it to our computers. I'm gonna save mine to my downloads and just hit save. That part is that easy. If you're looking over here, this is where you can find official releases. I know from working with Vert that I wanna use bug fix, so that's why I'm over here for my GE tech. The next thing we need to do is find those sweet configuration files. If we simply hit the Marlin firmware link, boom, this is where they're at. Once again, I'm going to download all the configurations save them to that same downloads folder, and then I'll show you how to put this together. All right, friends, so we need Visual Studio Code. I've already installed it on this computer, but this is where you find it. Once you have found it, I'm gonna launch mine like this. There is Visual Studio Code. I am gonna warn you that every time I launch this, it has updates it needs to do. So make sure you give it time to do its updates, reboot it once or twice, just making sure you've got those things right. In Visual Studio Code, we need an extension called Platform.io. If you just type Platform, it will show up and then you can add it. Mine is already installed. This is what the install looks like. Remember, once you load, you need to keep an eye out for updates. I have not had any, so it's not asking me to reload, so that part's fine. Do keep an eye on yours, though, because it does happen a ton. So we need to get our folders ready. Let's do it like this. I am back in my downloads folder and we need to unzip both those files. I'm going to just hit extract all. I'm going to keep it in that downloads folder. I'm going to do the same thing on bug fix, extract all. I'm going to keep its names and let it do its things too. After a few moments, both files are complete. This is the Marlin folder. And if you go into Marlin, these are the two files that we're going to have to change with the suite configurations. The way this works is we're going to simply delete these. Notice this was the Marlin folder. And then in configurations, we're going to find our config. If you hit examples, we're going to go down and find our printer. Right now I'm working on a GE Tech A10M. So I go to the A10M folder and somebody has created the configurations that are going to fit this printer. I'm going to simply copy and paste. And now we can return to Visual Studio Code and we can open that folder. Note when you open these folders, we're going to go to Downloads, we're going to go to that Marlin bug fix, and we're going to stop at this folder. If you can see that you've made it to the first Marlin, you're fine. Hit stop and then watch these windows over here to see it all come to life. If you can see the platform io.ini, that means you're in the right one. And then you can click this arrow to actually see those new config H and configuration advanced H. We're going to click on configuration H. Notice just after that opens, then PIO opens. You can see it doing a rebuild down here on the bottom, and this is where it may tell me I need to reboot in a moment. If we look down through the configuration H, this is where we can see when this version was created, and we can also find the awesome user that created it for us. Now this one does not have anybody's name in here. Quite often they do. The more you read through these steps, the more you learn, I keep my machine stock, so I'm simply going to go down here. I'm going to change the custom name of my machine. I'm going to call this A10M, and I'm going to put V3 just because that's something different. That way I can always tell when my firmware is done. And I have not changed anything on my firmware, so I'm just going to leave this alone. If you did make changes, this is where you'd go down and find the different things you could change. If you had a switching hot end, if you had any of these cool things like a BL Touch, I don't use those. I don't change anything on mine, so I don't have to mess with any of this. But this is where you track down and make your changes. Once you've double checked all that, go down here and hit the build button. And you'll see it'll do all of the building. 
If it gives you problems, don't worry about those. Uh, it's more if you ever get an error that it's an issue. I bumped this up to 15x speed just so you don't have to watch how long it took on my old PC. And that, my friends, is what it looks like when you have success. Friends, my A10M is connected to this computer, so I'm going to just send it or upload it. Note, the first time you do this, it does install some tools that allow it to happen. But this, because I've already done it, is almost instantaneous, and you'll be able to see it over on the other screen as it updates. Once again, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to go 5x speed so you don't have to watch it all happen. But it is about a minute for it to get done. There you see it rebooting. I'm going to just move over and choose reset to reset this error. And just like that, we have updated our firmware. How cool is that? Alrighty, friends, so that's all it takes to get it updated. I will let you know I had an error with my plain A10. I will have a link to that movie. It just enabled dev mode in PIO, and I was able to fix it, but I'll have that up above. Friends, make sure if you get a chance, thank these people that are doing this cool work with the Marlin firmware. The extra options it adds to our GE tech printers or just the things it fixes are amazing. And, of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day